welcome guys and today in crypto we have a whole lot of interesting news yeah and please if you're just joining us please do also like share and subscribe thank you for watching my content so first on our list here we have ethereum name service ens token yeah ens token has actually recorded over 1000 registered domain crosses has crossed over 1 million registered domain names so ens has actually registered over 1 million persons have registered a domain name on their company and that is actually a very significant milestone and that is actually caused due to the the search yeah the search of the people buying ens domain names on as an nft yeah so we have people buying selling their ens domain names from ranging from one ethereum to 9900 9, ethereum we had the one that just happened last week with someone bought 55 yeah, an ens domain name for over 55 ethereum which what is currently worth over 160 thousand dollars that was a crazy one and that actually increased the increased people so many people now going to register on ens to actually register a domain name and there has been so much growth we said they actually recorded that over 35 thousand registered in the past two days yeah just this beginning of this month may over thirty five thousand, and last month they actually had the all-time high of over 162 thousand persons registering a domain name on the network on their network so it's actually a very good one and that actually also influenced the price of ens growing massively well over 15 percent profit in the over 30 percent profit in the past few days and week and ranging presently it's at 25 dollars that's a good one then we also have a good news here from argentina argentina largest bank launches crypto trading future in which the name of the bank is actually banco galicia they now allow users to buy and sell bitcoin ethereum usdc and xrp so that's the largest private bank by market value and it's actually added the option to buy and sell cryptocurrency on its platform that was actually confirmed this monday some two yesterday and you can actually now if you actually have the bank argentinas can argentinas can actually now buy cryptocurrency like bitcoin ethereum usdc and srp on their platform on their bank application and also sell you can actually also sell back to Argentina currency, but the only thing you can actually do is presently is they can actually you can actually withdraw or send the cryptocurrency you actually bought, but you can buy and sell. And that's actually a very good one, and we have seen that in the few weeks that we have seen that Argentina as a country has actually supported the adoption of cryptocurrency as cryptocurrency, and it's actually doing very well. We also have a very good news here from the NFT marketplace OpenSea. NFT OpenSea just set a new daily trading record of 476 million US dollars in Ethereum. And this is actually due to the last week weekend Bot Apes Club Metaverse launch. That is the other side. So we have OpenSea has actually recorded the first time in history in which they have recorded over 470 six million us dollars in trading volume that's actually a very good crazy one and we say nfts have been doing well they generally they bought api club nfts have been doing massively well first of all we have the other side on that secondary market some secondary sales has recorded over 500 million us dollars just in the past few three days then on the main thing they actually recorded over 300 million do dollars then total to uh, 800 million so far and that's actually a very crazy one and they it has been doing massively well then also it's other bosch ape club and mutant ape yash club so it's actually also doing massively well in the past few past week it actually recorded a trading volume of over 142 million us dollars and the mutant ape yash club recorded over 125 million us dollars and that actually helped the ethereum blockchain to do so much over 476 million dollars new all-time high yeah new record that was achieved on sunday then we also have another news here from algo which is a good one which everyone has yeah it's a good one in which Algorit algorand blockchain has actually announced a partnership with fifa in which yeah and that actually also helped algo 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 run right now to pump massively well with over 20% pump and it's ranging right now at the right price of over 0.67 dollars. 
So Agrodam Agrodam Exchange has actually come into partnership with the FIFA World Cup. You know that's the number one body, world football body, as far as football is concerned, and they'll be partnering in which FIFA will be helping them for publicity, advertisement, and the rest. Why them? They will, why Agrodam Blockchain will actually building a blockchain, you building offering blockchain supported wallet solution for the FIFA World Cup that's actually going to be coming up later on this year. Yeah, and it's actually a very good one. We have seen Algorand blockchain doing massively well over in the past few years. They have recorded over 2,000. They have actually worked with over 2,000 global organizations and and done so many things in various industries. Yeah, so Algorand blockchain is a very good one, and this partnership is actually a very good one for them. It's actually helped their token do well and also be solving blockchain-related problems. Then we also have a news here from Solana. Solana struggles. Yeah, under ninety dollars. Yeah, why NFT sales surge higher? We have seen that under the this in on Sunday. Yeah, Solana blockchain actually network was down for over seven hours, and that was caused by a boot boot spam in the NFT minting tool Candy Machine, and that actually made the network down for complete seven hours. And the Solana blockchain said they are working on fixing the issue. Working on fixing the issue, and aside that, the NFT NFT that was just listed on OpenSea NFT marketplace is doing massively well. We have the likes of the BS, the likes of OKBS. OKBS have actually driven over six million US dollars in secondary sales turnover in the last 24 hours, which is actually over 134 percent growth. And we also have the other Solana NFT collection set on. Cracks also recording over 690 US dollars turnover, secondary sales turnover, which is a good one. So the NFTs are doing massively well, but we have the Solana token, Solana coin suffering so well. You would have seen it falling from as high as when all time I over to close to the $200, and right now it's at ranging around the $80, $90 region. And last month it was about $140. So right now that's a great follow, over close to 40% downward fall. And Solana is actually struggling, but it's NFTs doing massively well. Like I actually usually say, I don't really think NFTs on a particular blockchain actually helps because we see Ethereum. Ethereum is number one when talking about NFTs on OpenSea, but Ethereum coin is still not really making us proud. Then we have a good news here, which I actually talked about this yesterday. In which crypto.com actually stopped their staking rewards but they have now had to restart it they say they will actually restart it because of the community frowned against on against that so their ceo actually tweeted yesterday that okay okay to, i tweeted yesterday that it's actually they're going to actually resume they, they will actually not stop it again but they will resume it to eight percent they actually still reduced it to eight percent that will be offered to card users so that's actually a very good one so we see that there is power in the communities in com in the communities in communities and with that so the staking reward will still continue for those that actually have old crew and the last news here we have is that axis infinity token down over 30 percent this week as gamers and bandon play to end title you can actually see that in these past few weeks i've told us that the you see my previous videos that what has been trending in the space right now is move to end. We have the likes of GMT, Dose, and the rest doing massively well. And now we see that that's actually now affecting our ecosystem, which is the play to end. And now Axis Infinity token has been doing massively bad. It has done massively bad. Last month it was ranging around $75. Right now it's ranging around $30 to $26, which is actually very bad. And also, I've also recorded a whole lot of reduction in those that are even playing their games we see that last in they actually are usually range around the rate of 63,000 persons users on their platform but right now they are as low as 12,000 persons playing the, the games so it's actually people has left that direction of play to end to moving to move to end so you should also follow suit but we hope, hope that it's actually going to steal and also one of the things that also causing this fall in the Axis Infinity is the recent arc in which they actually had, in which they lost over 622 million US dollars was at, was lost, was arced. But though it has majority has been recovered, that actually also helped. That actually also was one of the reasons that it actually had to fall this bad. But we hope that 
with time axis infinity and when the crypto market is back it will also do massively well so that's all for today in crypto please if you got value please do to like share and subscribe